Hi guys, I am back with another Dollarama haul and I am so stoked to show you some of the items that I was able to find this time around. So I'm just gonna jump right in. I'm gonna start with food items first. I did pick up two bags of the European Muesli um, by the company called Start. I hadn't seen these at the Dollaramas before, so I don't know if this is a new item that they're carrying or just a new item to me. Um, my eldest son and I like to use these uh, with our plain cereals, so like your plain shreddies or your plain um, Cheerios. This is nice just to add a little bit of flavor to it and spruce it up a little bit without adding too much added sugar. Uh, this one is the Raisin and Apples. And then this one is the Bananas and Dark Chocolate. Uh, both of these are good till uh, 2020. This one's good till the end of January and the other one was good until February. And you get 400 grams in these bags and they were only $2 a piece. So that is such a great deal for Muesli. If you were to buy this from Bulk Barn or any of the grocery stores, it would be a lot more expensive. Then I also picked up two of the White Peach Lemons uh, Sparkling Lemonade by 7up. And these were two for $1.50, so they were 75 cents a piece. So I did pick up two of those. I love anything peach, so I thought I would give these a try. Then moving on to household items, I did pick up another uh, bowl by Zach. So this one is the Star Wars one. So it does have Chewbacca on there. And I just thought that was nice. Now all my kids have a similar sized uh, bowl for cereal. This one is going to be for my eldest son. And I thought that was a good deal. It was only $8.50 for a Zach product. Then I also picked up this little nail polish remover pod by Lori and it was only a dollar fifty and what you do is you dip your little finger in there and it's kind of got almost like a little funnel type effect with ridges and it's supposed to pull off the polish for you as you move your finger in and out and around in there and I just thought it was a nice way to get the polish off. Um, my daughters uh, like to wear nail polish and sometimes they are not um, wearing the easiest to get off stuff and I don't like scrubbing out their nails with like a high acetone uh, nail polish and the cotton balls just kind of get all messy and it's just a whole big ordeal so I thought I would try these out with them and see if this worked a little easier for them. Then I also picked up this really cool tweezer. So it's got that kind of ombre effect changing from blue to green and these are actually really nice tweezers because the one end is a blunt edge like you normally get but then the other end it comes to a point which is perfect for removing splinters. My kids are known for running outside in their bare feet especially on the deck so this will help get any splinters out that they may get and it was only two bucks for that so I thought that was a pretty good deal as well. Then I also picked up two toothpaste. Uh, they're both for kids. One is Colgate and one is Crest. So the Colgate one is the Batman. So that is going in my younger son's stocking and that one was $1.50. And then I got the Frozen and it's got Olaf on there. And this is the Crest and it was $2. And you get 100 milliliters in the Crest and 75 milliliters in the Colgate. So I guess 50 cents for 25 milliliters. Works out to be pretty reasonable. Then I did pick up a package of the Gain dryer sheets. So you get 34 sheets in here and it was $2.50, which is a lot cheaper than what you would pay at the grocery stores or at Walmart. And I absolutely love Gain. I've had this sitting in my room for a few days now um, and it's made my room feel really, really nice. So I think I might actually take a sheet out and just tuck it into my uh, dresser drawer or in my closet just to keep things smelling a little fresh. Then this is, well, I think the coolest item from my haul. So it is this big TV tray or a folding table is what they want to call it. So I'm gonna flip it around and you can see it's got the metal legs that fold down 
and the dimensions are 18 and a half inches by 11.8 inches. So it is a really good size. And it says that when you extend the legs, it's about 10 inches, so less than a foot. So I thought this would make a perfect lap desk for when you're in bed to put your coffee on, or if you work on the computer while you're in bed, this would be a perfect height for that as well. And this one's pattern was just too cute to pass up. It's got cakes and donuts and ice cream and cotton candy and all these delicious looking sweets on it. And it was only $4. And this is like a solid um, plastic tabletop and metal folding legs. So that's a pretty solid piece for only four bucks. So I was really, really excited to find that. I had never seen that before at my Dollaramas. Then the rest of the items are uh, stocking stuffers or gifts for birthdays and or Christmas. If you've been watching my previous hauls, you know that I pick stuff up uh, as I see it. So that way I know I'm not going to miss out and that way I can avoid the stores come the holiday season when it really starts picking up. So to start I found these heart to heart draw and color. So they're learning to count from 1 to 10. So they are a dot to dot book. So you do the dot to dots and then you color in your picture. And it's nice because it shows you the order of how you're supposed to connect the dots around the outside. So I got this one with the ducky and this one with the elephant and they were only a dollar fifty a piece which I thought was a really good deal so I got the uh, one uh, for my youngest daughter because it's only counting up to 10 and then for my elder daughter I got this one that counts up to 20. Then I also picked up quite a few packages of stickers so most of them are by the same brand except for this one which is by Twin7 and they are sparkle stickers. Um, it's $1.25 and you get all of these different construction vehicles. So my son is having a construction themed birthday so I am going to put this in his birthday bag for him. I just thought those were really nice. Then the other stickers that I picked up are by the Sticka brand. I did mention in a previous haul that I think this is a fairly new sticker brand that's come to Dollarama, or maybe just the stickers that they're putting out now are a lot more eye-catching and a lot more detailed, and that's why I've noticed them. Um, but either way, I was super excited to find these packages. So this one has multicolored zebras jumping through donuts. And these ones are uh, $1.25 for the first three that I'm going to show you. This one has cacti and hedgehogs. And then this one has narwhals and polar bears. And then the other three I got were actually only a dollar a piece. And you get these super cute little elephants. This little like afternoon tea set. So it's got the teapot, teacups, and little desserts to go along with it. And then last but not least, because this one's probably my favorite, you again get um, narwhals, you get polar bears with horns, and then you get little penguins. Too stinking cute. Like the stickers they are coming out with these days are just amazing. And for such a good price, I mean, even if your kid just wanted to take them off the sticker sheet and stick them on a blank piece of paper and it entertains them for half an hour, you really can't beat the price for that. Then I also picked up four of the Play Pack Grab and Goes. So I know that um, Dollarama typically sells these. Uh, on their own for a $1.25 per package. So these you actually got two in the package for a $1.25. So definitely a uh, really good deal. Um, they work out to be uh, 
less than a dollar a piece that way and I just thought that these were perfect to throw in their stockings. So these are the play packs where you get the crayons, stickers, and then the little coloring books in them. So they're just nice to pull out if the kids are getting uh, bored or just something, you know, new and exciting to entertain them for a little bit. So I got this one that has Minnie and then Sophia on the other side. This one that has Iron Man and Angry Birds Star Wars. This one, which is Minions. And then the Avengers. And this one, which is Frozen in the one package. And Paw Patrol on the other. And you can pull them apart and see that you do get both packages in there. And they both have their crayons and stickers. So that's a really, really, really good deal. So definitely keep your eye out if you have a Dollarama around you uh, because I did still see the single packs uh, hanging just above the double packs for $1.25 as well. So definitely look around the area and see if you can pick up the super value packs because you get two in there for the exact same price. So definitely an amazing deal. Then I finally found a fourth one of the Lock Stars. I did haul these in a previous video, um, but I only managed to get three of the four that I needed for each of my kiddos. So I managed to get a pink one for my eldest daughter. And once again, I found it for $2. Keep in mind though that this is another one of the items that I have uh, mentioned previously changes uh, its price, debate, uh, not debating, depending on the dollarama that you go to. So I've seen this at $4, I've seen it at two, I've seen it at $3.50. So definitely do keep an eye out and shop around to make sure you're getting the best deals, even between the different dollaramas that you're going to. I know it's crazy, but you do save. Um, it could be up to $2 even that you're saving even more. So definitely do shop around if you have the ability to do so. Then I did pick up another one of the DC Superhero Girls. I managed to find Batgirl. In a previous haul, I picked up Poison Ivy. I'm still looking for um, the Supergirl to replace my one that the, uh, my daughters broke. But I thought Batgirl was a pretty good replacement if I'm not able to find her. And these are $4. Anywhere else that sells these, they're going to be minimum $10, even up to $15, depending. So it's a really good deal. Then I also picked up another one of the Beyblades. I had hauled these before as well. I picked up a blue one. This time I got the green. Again, $4 at Dollarama, which is one of their more expensive items, but anywhere else, at least $9.99. Toys R Us, Walmart, $9.99 for a single pack, and you get it for $4 at uh, Dollarama. Then I also picked up this set of Disney Princess Dominoes, and you get 28 dominoes in here. And it was $4 as well, but it comes in a nice um, metal tin. And the dominoes are a good size. And it shows you a little game you play on the back. My daughter absolutely loves anything Disney Princess, so I'm going to be putting this either in her birthday gift or probably for Christmas. Then I did pick up this little Disney Frozen mystery blind bag. And in it, you get one of the uh, necklaces from Frozen. I did actually let her open one of these. I picked up two of them for her. So she did get the purple Anna before. So she'll be super excited to find one of these in her stocking and see who she gets next. Uh, these were $1.50, which is still a really good deal for a blind bag. Then I picked up some more Hot Wheel cars. Um, my parents have gotten my younger son um, a Hot Wheels track for his birthday, so she, uh, they asked if I could pick up some Hot Wheels to go along with it. So I found this one. It says it's a Cyber Speeder, and it actually says that it's best for the Hot Wheels track, so I figured that would be good to pick up. Then this one's actually new for 2019. And it's like this sleek looking teal one. 
And then, because he loves Batman, this is the TV series Batmobile. So I just thought it was really cool. And each of the Hot Wheels at Dollarama are only $1.50 a piece, so it's a really good deal. And then the last two items I picked up are actually for my dad. If you've watched my previous hauls, you know that my parents are avid viewers of mine. So dad, if you're watching, if you could turn off now. Okay. So if you saw, I think it was my Dollar Tree haul from a couple of days ago, I did pick up some socks for him. I mentioned that he's getting into fashion socks, which I think is a neat thing because it makes gift giving a little simpler because he's hard to shop for. So I did find these ones at Dollarama. Um, they're President Stone brand and they were $1.25 a piece, so no different than the Canadian Dollar Tree. And I actually found that these uh, feel a little bit softer and a little bit of a thicker quality. So this is like a blue and gray stripe. And then a red and gray like zigzag pattern. So I thought I would throw these in his stocking as well and he can compare the two different brands and let me know which one he likes and that will be the one that I continue to pick up for him when they come out with new designs. So yeah, that's all I have for you for this haul. I hope you were as excited as I was to see some of the things I managed to haul, like that TV tray table, super, super excited for. I couldn't wait to do the haul so that I could open it up and start using it. And those stickers by Sticka, really, really cute. The Super Value Play Packs, like it was an amazing, amazing, amazing trip this time to Dollarama. Um, as I've mentioned before in my previous hauls, I've been having a lot and a lot of luck lately at Dollarama and not so much at Dollar Tree. So for this week, I was super excited to have luck at both my stores. And it was just a really good week overall for these hauls. So I hope you enjoyed watching my video. If you liked my video, um, please feel free to like it and comment down below. Let me know if there's anything you'd want to see more of or less of. Um, I welcome any type of feedback, just, you know, no hurtful comments because we don't need that. But if you think I could improve in some way, definitely let me know. Um, and yeah, if you want to subscribe and be notified when I post a new video, just click on the bell and it'll set that up for you. So thanks. I hope you have a wonderful night and a wonderful weekend. Bye now.